is practically important. Hospital and clinical pharmacy is experiment of second to prepare and to hold a water for injection. Water for injection is generally used for preparation of an injection and as a solvent medium. Uh, in this uh, practical, we can teach uh, one teach that how to prepare the water for injection and how to evaluate it as a water for injection. Water for injection is mainly used for the preparation of injectables. Water for injection is mainly used for the sol as a solvent for the preparation of injectable. Uh, because the uh, water is uh, highly available or easily available for uh, solvent system as a solvent system in the injection and it has a very less uh, adverse effect on the injectables or ingredients present in the injection. Use of water for injection, we should evaluate the water or before evaluation of water we should prepare a proper water for injection through distillation method. This is our distillation chamber. It is used for the preparation of water for injection. Basically, distillation is the distillation chamber is work on the basis of differentiating evaporative evaporation point or boiling point of the respective solvent medium. On the basis of differentiating solvent boiling point, we can uh, separate the distilled water from potable or non-distilled water. Collecting after collecting this distilled water for assurity it is distilled or not, we have carried out various chemical reactions. This is the chemicals required for these experiments and this is the glassware and various apparatus used for the for this experiment. This is one of the tests for what this is one of the tests for the first we take the 10 ml of water for injection sample then we add it in 2 ml of ammonia buffer ps10 then we add 50 mg of modern black 2 mixture and 0.5 ml 0.01 molar disodium EDG. a pure blue color is produced therefore we can confirm that the water for injection is proper for injectable use this is chloride test for water for injection in which 10 ml water for injection is taken then 1 ml of 2 molar nitric acid is added then 0.2 ml of 0.1 molar silver nitric acid is added after 50 minutes it does not change in any appearance of the water for injection therefore we can say that the chloride present in the water for injection is within limit this is sulfate test in which we carry the 10 ml of water for injection then add 0.1 ml of 2 molar hydrochloric acid then we add 0.1 ml of barium chloride solution there is no color change after one hour for at least one hour therefore we can say that this is water for injection is suitable for injectable preparation